All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to be the loser that women want to actually sleep with. Now, fair warning once again, number one, this is going to probably piss some of you off. Number two, this is definitely going to make you reconsider the vibe, the action, and the attitude that you're taking when you go out. And number three, what you have to understand is the guy who actually embodies this is not trying to force a vibe. So when I show you this, like I said, Okay, this is probably going to make you a bit frustrated because it goes against some of the beliefs that you probably have held regarding your own dating life. I think this is probably going to be one of my most entertaining videos that I've ever made. Now, when today's video is over, go down below and click the link and check out the free webinar presentation that I made for you. Inside of that, I show you the behind the scenes process to MBT masculine behavioral techniques that has transformed the dating life of thousands of students, thousands of men across the globe. So because of that, I want you to check it out when this video is over. Let's dive in. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to be the loser that women want to actually sleep with. Don't ask about the cowboy hat because you'll figure out why I'm wearing it later. Now, the first thing I have to do to teach you this type of shit is you have to understand the list of major anti-seductive traits, okay? When you watch the guy who actually gets laid or when you watch the guy who's actually good with girls, he's not worried about looking amazing and proper. He's not in this button-down suit usually because all of that is try-hard energy. The more effort she can tell that you're putting in on how you're appearing and how you care about how you look and how nicely your clothes are ironed and that you take such good care of yourself. All of that, like so there, part of being a man, okay, here's what you gotta understand. Part of, the, part of being a man, you need to embody some amount of ruggedness and like an I don't care attitude. The more you care, okay, if, if, if you need to have um, every millimeter of your hair cut a specific way to feel confident, like this is the, like as a man you're not supposed to care so this is what you gotta understand the first thing we have to understand here is the list of major anti-seductive traits the first anti-seductive trait is any and all logic we're talking any logic anything that makes sense okay anything that makes sense any any back and forth conversation about where you grew up where she grew up what your goals are okay this is the first the second thing a woman never wants to see you exert any psychological effort. If she has to watch you think, okay, she's going to be turned off. And I can't help that the world is like this. This is just the way the world is. So exerting any and all psychological effort, major anti-seductive trait. Another anti-seductive trait, talking about goals, talking about passion, and talking about purpose, okay? If you have anything that is regarding this topic right here, acting like you are your career. Oh, I'm this, uh, I'm the best plastic surgeon in the valley. So you know what? That means you should, you should go out on a date with me, pretty lady. <laughs> it's going to be the fastest way where she like, she'll grab her phone and text her friends. Go, yeah, he's super rich, but I don't really know if I'm into him. Okay. Stick with me. I promise this will make sense. I promise this will be one of my best videos. Okay. So acting like you are your career. Another thing that is super anti-seductive, needing to impress anyone, okay? So let me give you an example. I was out this weekend. I was with a big group. We all sit down. We're at this bar. There's a guy who is talking to us all of a sudden about all the big business he does. And all of a sudden, how, you know, and then it, it, how it really started is he was on a cell phone. And then as soon as we sat there, he noticeably started talking louder so everyone could hear about the business that he's doing. And then he's trying to slip in in conversation. Oh, I live over here and I did this with this celebrity. And it, you know what happened? All of the girls that we were lo with looked at him. They didn't say a single word back. And then they looked down and then he got up and he just walked away. So this is how it actually plays out. All everyone on, on the internet screaming to you about high value this and wear your three piece button down suit. And this is how you groom yourself to look like a movie star. Okay. Women do not respond to those try hard activities. Women don't care. And I'm going to show you why later. So this dude's talking about all this big stuff. He does trying to impress people. No one likes that energy. Another thing, trying to actually get to know the woman or her personality. She doesn't want to have to sit there and go back and forth and have small talk where she gives you her life story and you give her your life story. Another thing, women feel like they got to know you through the vibe. So this is what you have to know about women in general. 
You do not get to know a woman through actually understanding the logic and logical principles or logical talk back and forth about your guys' upbringing and how you were raised and what you're into. A woman doesn't feel like she got to know you that way. A woman feels like she gets to know you through the vibe. So let's say you're in the middle of the house party and you're looking around and you go, hey! She's gonna look at him and go, oh, he's charming, he's funny. I like him. She doesn't know anything about you. She doesn't know jack shit about you. But she feels the energy. Women respond to energy. So the first thing you have to do to be the loser that women actually want to sleep with, okay? You're going to have to get rid of all anti-seductive traits. This is everything of the world that was created to probably get you locked into this career mentality of like, oh, if I hustle and I grind and I'm this big dog, one day my three-piece button-down suit and my haircut will look good enough where all I do is walk into that bar or that club and she just says, yep, you're mine. Okay, this is first. Now, number two, what is the vibe? The vibe of the guy who actually gets laid. We're, we will discuss the vibe because the guy who's actually getting laid, he's in a certain vibe. He's meeting the woman at a specific wavelength. There's a low perceived psychological effort that he has when he communicates with her. Now this will make you mad, okay? Because for a lot of you who are smart, a lot of you who have like high IQ, a big secret to this is like almost like lowering, almost like the, the phrase people use is dumb yourself down. You are going to have to dumb yourself down a lot in order to spark the attraction, especially verbally. So this is the vibe of the guy who actually gets laid. And it will make you mad because he doesn't have a care in the world. You don't know if this guy has $20 million to his name or 20 bucks. And I'm gonna tell you a secret, she don't care. Number two, he prioritizes nothing but his own fun. He is not prioritizing what time he's waking up tomorrow. He's not prioritizing if his boss is going to know if he was late for work or not. He literally doesn't care. He is there to embody his own fun. He is there to embody whatever he wants. And I'm gonna tell you another secret. He ain't even thinking about this. This is just occurring and happening to him naturally. Another thing, he gives literally zero fucks about what is considered normal social behavior. So if he is at a bar, if he's at a house party, if he's whatever, normal get to know you talk is not walking around going, hey, but he doesn't care. And this is why she likes him because she can tell that he doesn't necessarily care what is normal social behavior. He's also extremely unpredictable. She doesn't know if he's gonna buy a round of shots for everybody. She doesn't know if he's going to yell at the top of his lungs. She doesn't know if he's going to get a call from a different girl right then and there as she's talking to him and then go to a different bar and just completely leave the group he's with and no one sees him for another three days until he finally wakes up and the, he, he's like back to normal. Okay, he's unpredictable. Now, on top of this, the girl he desires, okay, is never the center of his focus. He's not trying to force a vibe. He's not trying to force attraction. He's not trying to force a fake interaction where it's like two people have to get to know each other. The vibe in the party just comes. It's like he almost embodies the vibe in the party. It's like he just is, okay? He doesn't have to think about this stuff. Now, he will yell, he will shout, okay? He basically has daddy energy. If you think of what daddy energy is, what is dad, okay? Dad. Uh, buys the girl ice cream and dad also screams at the Oakland Raiders when they lose. <laughs> that is daddy energy, okay? He is an embodied and engulfed in his own world. Now, I put a star next to this one. He is in frame, okay? So when he embodies this like daddy energy, he's shouting, he's yelling, he's fully in frame. This is masculine frame on the front end when you first meet a woman. He's fully in frame and she now follows him around the whole house party or wherever they are at the social event the entire night. Why? Because he's embodying his own focus. He is not focused on her. She is not the center of why he's there. And because he's embodying his vibe, that is masculine in and of itself because now she wants to come into that energy and be the feminine that is following that lead, okay? These are the first two elements. The first, I've just showed you how to remove the anti-seductive traits. The second thing I just showed you is uh, how to be the vibe of the guy who actually gets laid. Now, let's talk about this. How do you actually start to embody this at a deeper level? The loser, and I put it in quotation marks because this guy's actually not a loser. This guy's a hidden genius and you're just not able to see it because you don't actually see what's going on here at a deeper level. The loser who acts like the most alpha Chad 
actually understands the language of women. Now, why is this? The guy who's in this vibe and who's in this element, okay? The reason why this is the guy who understands the language of women is because this man is in his most primal masculine state. This is almost as bare bones godlike. How, how man is, okay? And what I mean by that, when he is in his most primal masculine state, he eats and he goes, yum, my tummy. He sleeps and he goes, I'm so tired, okay? He shits, he goes, I gotta go to the bathroom, okay? He yells, and on top of that, he has fun. He is the party. You gotta understand, life isn't supposed to be as complex as you want it to be. All of this stuff, right? You ever seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street? Uh, Matthew McConaughey is sitting there. He goes, all this above the shoulders, all this above the head. He goes, digits. Okay, all of this stuff is complexity. Mental complexity and mental logic, mental complexity and mental logic makes it harder for you to attract women. This is getting bare bones into your most primal state. When you have fun, you laugh and you go fun. When you're hungry, I'm hungry. It's all about you, okay? You don't have to try to impress anybody. The more you try to impress her, whether it be with what you're wearing, with um, where you're going, with all the crazy business plans you have, the more she looks at you and goes, small dick energy. Look at this guy overqualified. To me? You gotta understand, when she wakes up in the morning and she brushes her teeth and her breath smells like shit, she ain't even looking at herself the way that you're looking at her. So when you really try to put her on the pedestal right then and there, she's going, for me? It doesn't, even, it, it doesn't even make sense to her. Okay, take this a step further. With this man, when he's embodying this, because he understands the language of women, there is no logic. There's no logic at all. Most men are trapped in their head. This guy, he's not even trying to get out of his head. He's not even trying to escape his head. There's literally no thought and no thinking happening at all. <laughs> right there in the moment, fully present. This is what women start to respond to. So now I'm going to use pictures and I'm going to use examples because I was out the whole weekend and I'm going to show you what this looks like in real life because nobody embodies the front end of game better than myself and my friends who I hang out with on the weekends. So first, I'm going to show you what I was wearing. First off, I wear the coolest shit when I go out. So I'm walking around, right, the whole day and I got this like baby blue button up thing, right? So this thing looks pretty dope because it's pretty fitted. I don't even know if I had the collar up or not. So this is first, okay. Basically looking like, I don't know what this vibe would be, but it was cool. Okay, secondly, um, I went to a baseball game. So when I'm out, I have on this blanket that I bought at the baseball game. And at every single bar, I'm wearing this around my neck. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. And on top of this, uh, this is my blanket over the shoulders and walking around going, hey, blah, blah, okay? Now, on top of this, I also bought a souvenir baseball bat. So, now I'm walking around the whole bar the whole night with a bat. How awesome is that? Everyone goes, oh, can I, ha can I hold your bat? So, I'm walking around, I have this blanket over the shoulders, and then I use this at times. Oh, me and my friend, uh, I'll put up a picture of him right now. Uh, we were, what we would do, we would scream a lot of two, we would scream two things. So when we were out at like the event, like the baseball game, or we're out at a bar, this bat was the bat to round up the troops. So I go, round up the troops. And we're, we rounded up the troops often and frequently, and we would round them up nicely and in good fashion. And then uh, we also, I'll put up a picture of them. The whole night we just scream, let, let him cook. Let him cook. You know, should we, should we talk? Should we talk to those people over there? Nope, they're cooking. Yeah, let them cook. Let them sit. They're cooking. Let them cook. Well, the more we would scream, let them cook, these girls literally, they're completely fascinated. I mean, they're taking pictures of this blanket. The more I do this and round up the troops, all of a sudden I'm on this other girl's Instagram story as she's laughing and then it's like the best thing ever. Um, me and, so I'll, I'm gonna split this in real quick too because I forgot to say this. The way you know you're doing this right and I went out, I did all this, I didn't have a single drink. The way you know you're doing this right is the girls, when you're talking to them or the women, they'll go, how many drinks have you had? If you're getting those questions, you are spot on in the right energy. So me and this girl, we walked, we left, I left the group that I was with for a little bit. We walked and we got uh, some 
we went and get some food for a while. And this girl is just giggling the whole time. And then we sit down and she's like, so what are you looking for? And it's like, she was the one trying to progress for logical conversation of dating interactions and dating life. I'm trying to tell you this, they can't help but get sucked into that energy. It is all energy. And keep in mind, you gotta really be who you are. So I always wear white Ray-Bans. I'm walking around the entire bar, whether I am in, okay, I got white Ray-Bans on whether I'm inside of the bar or outside of the bar. I don't care if it's morning or night, I don't care if it's daylight, I don't care if I'm outside, this is my swag that I got rolling for that day, okay? So the vibe just comes. It's not like everyone's out actively trying to, oh, I gotta meet my special someone. That's bad energy. That is not the type of energy that she wants. That is not the type of energy that she wants to feel. It's like the vibe and the flow just happens, okay? So I was rounding up the troops. We're letting them cook. As we're letting them cook, we got the baseball bat to help round up the troops. Girl number one, okay, sitting by me, okay, she is sitting by me. God is my witness. My friends who are there is my witness. The girl at the bar is sitting, and, and I'm going to make this PG level for the internet, for YouTube. Sitting by me, showing me her scandalous and fully revealing pics on her phone. Just showing me. Swipe files. I'm sitting there eating my food. Oh. Oh, let me see this. Let me see that photo. Oh, you want to show me that photo too? Oh, I'm sitting there eating. Hardly even paying attention. They're giggling the whole time. It's like they can't even believe what's going on. Next, girl number two. So by the end of the night, girl number two was watching how girl number one was behaving towards me. Pre-selection's coming. Now, girl number two is saying uh, how hot I was. And on top of that, she was saying how hot my friend was. This girl's, this girl's energy state was so pumped up from letting him cook for the entire day. Girl number two saying how hot both of us were and then asking to go home and hook up. This was out of her mouth. So keep this in mind. This is how game looks like in real life. This is how to be the loser women want to sleep with. The reason why the loser gets the women is because even though you consider them the loser, she considers them the most masculine men that are still the primal essence of what the man is of embodying that he doesn't care. And because he's not caught up in all of the numbers of life and the, the payroll and the taxes and the, it's like he can let loose and be a man and have fun. She can't help but become seduced by that vibe. There's no amount of looks, there's no amount of money, there's no amount of status, there's no amount of fancy haircuts, there's no amount of three-piece Armani suits, there's no amount of Bentleys, Rolls Royce, or Range Rovers that you can buy to make up for this. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.